we have some drama. So Chase has issued an apology. Who is Chase and why does he feel the need to apologize? Well, Chase feels the need to apologize because he leaked or offered to leak some nudes of Khaleesi, a another member of the Overwatch community who perhaps isn't terribly well liked. But to give some background on these two figures, Chase was the organizer of the Overwatch Empowerment Cup that happened a few months ago. And from the description of the Overwatch Empowerment Cup, we can see the Overwatch Empowerment Cup is a place for women and other marginalized genders to compete and grow their skills in a safe environment. Okay? And Khaleesi, Khaleesi has had some drama surrounding her before. She's been accused of being boosted. You can watch this clip over from Major Midget to see whether you think she was boosted or not. Man, that's really unlucky. Unlucky. Happens. Happens. Yeah, that, that doesn't happen in most top 500 lobbies. Most Zens don't get caught doing that because that is a feed. She likewise was acqu accused, uh, not accused, I mean, she accused Backstab Bud, someone in her lobby, of being sexist because he didn't play his main Doomfist when she was on his team. He didn't do that because he was playing into McCree and Tracer, and he was playing on Gibraltar. Gibraltar is not a terribly good map for Doomfist, and Doomfist mains will tell you that. McCree and Tracer are also not a good matchup for Doomfist. So he didn't particularly like that. That was pretty public and out there, and you can imagine how that went. But this happened. Chase was not the originator of this leak. Supposedly, originally, these nudes came from Khaleesi's OnlyFans site. But what happened there is they went across his timeline, he grabbed them, and he offered to share them out to anyone who missed them there. So that's what led to this apology here. And it's led to some interesting reactions. We can see down here, I'll be extremely blunt, this is really shocking. I mean, fair enough, if you don't like somebody, that's totally fine. But sharing explicit images of someone and people laughing at her body is shameful. I can't even imagine how Khaleesi feels, but I know I'm angry for her. Oh, I see. But it's followed up by, didn't you literally take someone's nudes and use them as your own? I don't think you're in the position to be chastising Chase when you've done similar. Ooh, okay, so the plot thickens. Didn't you literally harass me for years before we were both streamers and multiple others, including calling someone a failed abortion on stream and then deleting the VOD, claiming you never said it, but I saved the VOD? It, it just it just keeps going. It just keeps going. After we get a couple more down, it clearly turns into they're joking, but these first few look real, at least based on what I can tell. And the takes continue. So disappointing to learn what I learned today. Regardless of the drama happening in Overwatch right now, Overwatch Empowerment Cup is still something that the scene needed and still needs. I hope it doesn't just die on the vine because of the actions of one person, and I hope this time someone who isn't a cis white dude is in charge of it. Mm, okay. Trying not to get cancelled challenge, Overwatch Twitter edition, difficulty level is clearly impossible, at least for Chase today. But what do you guys think? Do you look at all this and say, hey, this happened and this, you know, is so disappointing. Chase should have been better. Chase organized the Overwatch Empowerment Cup. Chase was supposed to be better than this. Or do you come down on the side of, hey, guys will be guys. Guys do this sort of thing. It's their hormones. They like naked women. It's worked pretty well for the species. And you know what? That whole, oh, they came from a private place and they're not supposed to be shared. No, once they're on the internet, they're there. They're there for the taking, whether it's buying to pay well or not doesn't really matter. It's just kind of gone. It's the same way that people joke about NFTs and go, nope, uh, that's not real. NFTs, no one respects them, etc. So where do you guys come down on it? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're enjoying the content, please drop a like. Consider subscribing for more Overwatch and Overwatch 2 news, content, analysis, all sorts of stuff, thought-provoking stuff like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, Temporal out.